What's up, guys? Zach Man doing a video update on Tron TRX. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the um, 60 minute chart here. We're going to look at Tron on the hour. Obviously, it's kind of a little bit of a bullish candle right now, but uh, don't get your hopes up because we did uh, unfortunately hit a lower low than what I previously thought it was going to be. So uh, we are definitely in a, a selling trend still. Um, obviously, we did have a higher high, but then we kind of went down and now we hit a, a, a lower high. So definitely not looking very good. If you go back out and look at the four hour chart here, same thing. Uh, we're going to kind of see uh, we're kind of following the uh, 20 day moving average as far as a little bit of a resistant line and support line here. Uh, if we go to the 24 hour chart, uh, like I said, you're going to see that the next support that we're probably going to be reaching is right around 600 Satoshis. So we'll continue to see that, uh, you know, by the weekend or sometime next week for sure. So I'm not sure why. I mean, like I said, I know it's the Tron is number one for most dApps in the, in the crypto world right now. So maybe it's just taking a while for everybody to adapt and get things going. But, you know, hopefully that'll bring a surge and catch up eventually. Uh, but as of right now, you know, we're kind of in a sell off. So which is unfortunate because, you know, we kind of started off good for the year and then kind of. But it's typical. Hopefully maybe we'll get some support here and then we'll kind of create a little bit of a ladder and an upturn that way. But in the major is that if we break through this and that doesn't hold for support, uh, you know, we can go all the way down to 500 Satoshis probably. Um, or follow the um, the twenty or two hundred day moving average as a support line anyway. So expect some more selling going on. Unfortunately, uh, unless there's some major major breaking news, but until then uh, we're kind of in a downtrend right now. As far as Bitcoin, if you look at the day uh, chart, twenty four hour chart, uh, I still expect good things. Like I said, I can see this thing uh, hopefully by the weekend because uh, uh, today's Wednesday, so we got a couple days, but uh, maybe possibly hitting forty two. And then uh, starting next week or sometime in the next, I don't know, week and a half, um, sometime in the beginning of uh, March that we could see it touching 4,500 before a retracement back down to three. So uh, if we go to the one hour chart, uh, again, you know, like I said, it's pretty, still pretty bullish. I mean, it hasn't really hit any higher highs. It kind of leveled out right here at about 39.70, let's say. So it's really not hitting any higher uh, highs, but it is uh, hitting a little bit of a lower uh, lows as far as that goes. So we're definitely looking. There's going to be a breakout uh, happening soon. Uh, hopefully it's to the up, which I still believe it will be. Uh, so keep an eye on that. Uh, back to Tron, uh, crypto investment service firm BitGo to add support for Tron. So uh, institutional grade cryptocurrency investment service uh, firm BitGo will provide wallet and custody support for uh, cryptocurrency Tron TRX, according to a press release shared with uh, Cointelegraph on February 20th. Uh, per the release, BitGo will add uh, support for the TRX later this year, making it available for institutional investors. TRX thus joins over 100 other digital currencies already supported by BitGo. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> BitGo is reportedly the world's largest processor of on-chain Bitcoin transactions, or transactions processing 15% of all global Bitcoin transactions and 15 billion of cryptocurrencies per month. The company's wallet service has more than 2 billion in assets under management. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, obviously in January, the BitGo uh, partnered with Bitcoin over the counter, OTC trading platform, uh, Genesis Global Trading to allow clients trading cryptocurrencies directly from BitGo custody. Um, there's also going to be a, a BitGo crypto insurance that could um, help, you know, if there's any losses. So they're going to have, they have some kind of insurance thing, which is pretty cool. So they also have that. And um, so, yeah, so uh, obviously there's a, another thing that's adding uh, Tron to its, uh, which I think is really, really cool because, like I said, it deals with a lot of the Bitcoin transactions. So if it's good enough for Bitcoin and obviously Tron's joining, that's some, some really good news as well. So. Other than that, there's not really too much uh, major news going on. There's, you know, some minor things here and there. But uh, I think this is a pretty good news for Tron. Um, obviously, I wish the chart would reflect that. But hopefully soon, like I said, we got to – hopefully we can hit that and go up. But we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.